Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. We're talking about what happened on last night's edition of WWE Monday Night Raw, setting up uh, Edge having a WrestleMania match against Randy Orton at WrestleMania 36. Um, honestly, uh, what was on my mind uh, for Edge when thinking about his return uh, for WrestleMania, I, I thought that, you know, him winning the Rumble and setting up a championship match didn't really make a lot of sense because of the fact, you know, I think it would be cool to see Edge get put in that place, but then seeing somebody built up to the point where they're going to be going after the World Heavyweight Championship and not coming through with it uh, doesn't make a lot of sense. But then again, when you see somebody like Goldberg uh, come back and win the championship like he did and then set up the match against uh, Brock Lesnar where he just shows up and basically gets beat, you know, him winning the championship doesn't really take over the point of him having a, a month-long reign and then it's over because then basically you're just building up something that doesn't really make sense. Uh, when I was kind of dreaming up matches that I really thought would be cool, uh, for Edge to have at WrestleMania, honestly, on the top of my list was Seth Rollins. And all Seth, uh, although Seth Rollins is already sort of built up with this whole, more than likely looks like going to be some sort of a tag match at WrestleMania with him building this stable uh, on Monday Night Raw. Um, that That's kind of the match that I want to see the most. But then again, that's a match that we could see a SummerSlam or a future WrestleMania down the road with the word coming out that Edge signed a multi-year deal with WWE, kind of using AEW uh, as some leverage uh, to get a bigger deal to, to have his return there. Um, but, you know, bringing back the rated RKO thing, that kind of popped a lot of people at WrestleMania um, more than I thought it was going to. I, I didn't really know that a lot of people had um, been fans that long in order to remember that. You got to think that, you know, in the current stage of WWE, they're kind of turning fans over faster and faster. There's not a lot of lifelong fans that are out there that can't care um, day in and day out. But then again, the Rumble uh, to WrestleMania build brings... A lot of fans back where they're going to be watching Raw. They're going to be watching SmackDown because they sort of get used to this build each and every year. But it, it kind of seems that the minute you saw Randy and Edge in the Rumble together, it struck a, oh yeah, that's right. I can honestly tell you that when I think of Edge's career in WWE, the rated RKO period where they were going up against DX uh, doesn't really come number one in my mind. But... It, it did strike a nerve when I saw it in there. I was like, oh. And uh, seeing them work together was really fun. I have that little moment. Uh, but then when that moment was over and you saw Randy setting up Edge for the RKO and Edge turning around and basically like, hey, you were about to fuck me. It was almost like he had that moment where he took it for granted and he forgot who Randy Orton was uh, for a minute. And that guy can turn on anybody just for being there randy you know the last few few years we saw him fight uh and actually win the universal championship at wrestlemania uh after winning the rumble by beating bray wyatt a few years ago um we saw uh, him fight and i think he won the united states championship that was kind of the writing on the wall like oh wow WWE really doesn't think of randy orton as being randy orton anymore he's just kind of a guy <laughs> that's on the roster. Um, but, you know, this is the match that honestly is going to strike a nerve with a lot of fans out there that are like, this is the match that I really want to see. Kind of like how Triple H does that for me each and every year when he has a match at WrestleMania. That's kind of the match that always levitates as the one that I care more about more than anything else, like him and Batista last year, him and Roman Reigns uh, at WrestleMania 32. Um, you know, those, those are the ones that always kind of stand out to me. Whatever's going on in WWE, Triple H is always my guy, and I gravitate towards his match being my main event. So I think some people are going to care. I mean, definitely for the people that have been watching this channel for a long time, I immediately called Edge is the best one. Uh, we really had had no talk about Edge coming back because although the talk was out there, I kind of really didn't really believe it, and I didn't want to lead him on to the point. But, 
He said immediately, as soon as Edge came out, people were tweeting him like they remembered. You know, he doesn't watch wrestling. Every once in a while, if something's really big, he'll find a way to watch a WrestleMania and doesn't watch the whole card. But, you know, he really couldn't believe the outpouring of people remembering how big of an Edge fan he was. So hopefully he'll be setting up the Blue's Clues uh, couch and uh, we'll, be, we'll be watching WrestleMania uh, with all of us. So we'll see, uh, what goes on with that. But, you know, this, this could be a fun match. Hopefully Edge gets the win. Uh, Randy doesn't really need the win at WrestleMania, but beating Edge, especially if Edge is going to be around. Um, who knows? I mean, Sting got that shot to go after the championship, but you know, what happened to Sting happened to Sting, uh, and Sting never wrestled again. So, uh, who knows if Vince will want to put Edge in that spot. You know, he, you know, put over Sean when he came back and put the championship on him. Put Goldberg over, put the championship on him. So we'll see how much he really puts into this Edge thing uh, and where it goes from here. So, you know, peace out, everybody. WrestleMania coming around the corner. We'll see if it gets done.